Rock, Paper, Scissors by John Fraser A man finds himself drawn to an inn that leads to a mysterious conundrum he is keen to understand. Exterior, in entrance, day. Simon, thirties, slim build, smart suit, is on his mobile phone listening to a call as he walks towards the smart wood and glass entrance of an inn. The entrance is smart and rural in appearance, with plants and flowers growing around its entrance and paved doorway. It is bright with daylight. Simon closes his call without speaking and puts the phone in his pocket. Then he opens the inn door and walks through, closing the door behind him. Interior, in room, day. Simon observes one person sitting in a room near the bar. There are other tables and chairs that are empty. We can see at the back of the room that there is a door opening into a room that emanates a bright light. Interior bar area, day. Simon is standing behind a woman ordering some drinks at the bar. Before anything further happens, the woman plays rock, paper, scissors with the barman in silence, and each time the barman wins. She does this three times in total. We can then see the barman lift a bottle that is completely empty and pour the emptiness into an empty glass while making the noise of liquid coming out of the bottle. Simon looks bemused as the barman moves to a cocktail shaker, fills it from two bottles containing nothing, uses tongs from an ice bucket to lift two blocks of nothing, and put it into the shaker. The barman shakes the shaker over his shoulders and then carefully pours the zero contents into a cocktail glass. He lifts his finger as if to point upwards and remind himself and places an empty cocktail stick over the edge of the glass. He then goes to one of the beer taps and pulls on the tap as he fills a tall glass of beer, making the noise of the beer going into the glass. Finally, we see the barman carefully place the glass on a tray that is sitting on the bar counter and slide it across to the woman. Simon watches as the woman goes back to her table where the other person is sitting. Three drinks between two, as in the number of rock, paper, scissors games that she played. Interior, bar counter, day. Simon walks up to the bar and opens his mouth to speak. The barman puts his finger to his lips. The barman demonstrates to Simon rock, paper, scissors. Simon plays along. Both men put one hand behind their backs, and the barman nods. Simon pulls his hand round, and it is curled in a ball, stone. At the same time, the barman returns a paper shape with his hand. He nods at Simon and smiles. Then he walks over to the beer tap and fills up an empty beer glass with nothing, making the same noise as before. Interior, in room and bar, day. The barman places the tall, empty glass on the bar counter and slides it across to Simon. Simon looks across at the bar sitting area as the brightly lit room door opens. A woman, looking quite radiant, comes out and walks to the occupied table and ushers those seated into the brightly lit room. There is a lot of chatter and light coming from that room. Interior, in bar area and entrance. Simon looks puzzled and concerned. He scans the room again and then at the barman before turning and walking towards the entrance door. Interior, indoor, day. Simon tries the door, but it is locked. He tries to turn the handle and he shakes the door briskly, but nothing happens. He bangs on the door a couple of times and still nothing or any response. Interior, in room and bar, day. Simon runs towards the bar where he sees the barman is on the phone at the back of the bar, not speaking, but listening on the phone. Simon bangs his fist on the bar counter, and the barman turns to face him, still on the phone. The barman holds his hand up like a stop signal, just the flat of his hand pointed towards Simon. Simon looks at the barman and makes the symbol of scissors. The barman looks horrified, looks at his hand, then at Simon, and realizes that Simon has beaten him. <laughs> Exterior, a modern city street in fading light with rain falling. Simon is sprawled on the road close to the bumper and bonnet of a car. His mobile phone is beside him on the ground, bloodied with a bright screen. 
Simon's eyes are open and staring straight ahead. There's a small stream of blood from the side of his mouth. He is smiling. People are circled around the body. A siren can be heard ever closer in the distance. Simon's mobile phone starts to ring. Cut to black. End.